All right, Shalom. Want to give our honor, our praise, our glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash, Yahweh the Heavenly Father, who the Word and the calls God, Yahweh Shai the only begotten Son, who the Word and the calls Jesus Christ. All right, the water, or thank you to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai for the Rakakwadash, the Rakakwadash being the Holy Spirit, which is the driving force behind these lessons. Want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessing, grace, and safety goes out to all that I came around the world preaching his word and truth and his sincerity. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the one third remnant of the nation of Israel that consists of men, women, and children listening and learning. Okay? Start your call from the men of Valley, South Carolina camp. Want to come back with another lesson? Just, uh, you know, was uh, listening to videos and just meditating. All right? And um, thinking about how um, brothers in the know, brothers in the faith, uh, we have to use the scriptures to uh, to let us know basically everything is going to be all right, man. All right, because hey, we in hell, man. We in Babylon the Great. Hey, uh, wake up, do the same thing every day. You know, look like there's no way out. Okay, but well, actually, it does look like a way out because we see the prophecies coming to pass through the Spirit. All right, but in the flesh. Okay, uh, just, you know, same thing every day, you know, if people surpassing you in life, so-called, you know, so we got to use these scriptures to remember that Yahweh by Shem Al Shai, all right, will deliver us from this captivity, all right? There is going to be a uh, sunshine at the end of the rain, man, okay? All right, and the Lord will deliver us from this captivity, all right, these hard times that we are in as he delivered our forefathers, okay? So I'm going to bring out some scriptures just speaking on, um, you know, some of our forefathers that got delivered and how we are to meditate on these things to make us know through faith that uh, we are going to be delivered too, man. Okay, that Yahweh Bashim Yashai is real. The angels are real and they will be with us, man. Okay, so uh, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Yeah, so we go back and read the things that are in the scriptures to give us hope, to give us comfort, all right? To give us faith that Yahweh Bashim Yashai will send his angels, all right, to deliver us from uh, uh, different, various other things, all right? And that Yahweh Bashim Yashai will put the spirit on us to believe in him and call on us, all right? So we got to look back on the scriptures, all right? Look, uh, read the things that are written aforetime, because that's why they was written, man, for our learning, all right, to build us up. To edify us, to comfort us. Romans 15 and 4 again. What for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Alright. Hey, so so um through patience and comfort of the scriptures that we're we gonna have hope, man. Alright. Let's grab another scripture. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 2 and verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that call upon him? Yeah, man. So we got to look on at the generations of old. All right. Look at our forefather Moses, King David. All right. All right. Peter. Jeremiah. Isaiah. Okay, the Maccabees, all right, the three holy children, all these men, man, all these examples that we have of Yahweh Bashim Yashad delivering his uh his elect, basically. Okay, all right, so Rack 2 and 10 again, look at the generations of old, and where do we go to look at the generations of old in the Bible, man? Us Hebrew Israelites, we go to the scriptures to look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded. Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? And whom did he ever despise that call upon him? Yeah, so we look at our forefathers and see the things that they went through and got delivered. All right, and we uh, use that for comfort comfort and hope that the same is going to happen to us. That we're going to get delivered. All right, that he's going to have mercy upon us. That he's going to forgive us for our sins, man. All right, so we got to look at the uh, uh, the generations of old. Okay, now let's look at some quick generations of old really quick. All right, to uh, comfort us in those times. All right, some times of deliverance of our forefathers. This is Exodus chapter 14 and 13. 
It says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. All right, and this is the time when the uh, Egyptians got swallowed up by the Red Sea, when Moses stuck his staff in the sea, man. All right? So this is one of the things that we have to uh, go back and read and remind ourselves, man. All right, look at how the Lord delivered um, uh, just Lot. All right, look how the Lord delivered um, uh, uh, Noah, okay, and his family. All right, those are things, examples we got to look at. All right, look at those generations of old. Look at those things that were written aforetime, okay? So it's uh, Exodus 14 and 13 again. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, and stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. All right, so what? Yahweh by Shem al all right, brought salvation to our forefathers at this time, delivering us from the Egyptians. And what he's going to do the same thing in today's time. All right, and deliver us out of the hands of Esau, Edom. Okay? Uh, that's it on that one. I'll get the next one. Okay? Now, another uh, time we can look back at the generations of old. Okay, we can look at Daniel when he was thrown in the lion's den. All right? We can look at that for comfort. Okay? And deliverance. And use that and apply that. All right, and add that to our hope that Yahweh Bashim Asha will deliver us in these times. Daniel 6 and 16. Then the king commanded, and they brought Daniel and cast him into the den of lions. Now the king spake and said unto Daniel, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, he will deliver thee. All right, and that king was being smart, but what? Uh, Yahweh did deliver Daniel, man. Okay? Yahweh delivered Daniel, okay, via the angels. And uh, deliver him from the lion's den, man. Daniel 6 and 17. And the stone was bought and lay upon the mouth of the den. And the king sealed it with his own signet. And with the signet of his lords. That the purpose might not be changed concern concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace. And passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him. And his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning. And he went in haste into the lion's den. Verse 20, Daniel 6 and 20. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spake and said to Daniel, O Daniel, servant of the living power, is thy power, whom thou servest continually, able to deliver thee from the lions? So hey, the king was asking Daniel, did your power deliver you from these lions? All right. And what did Daniel say? Then Daniel said unto the king, O king, live forever. My God, all right, Daniel's power, Yahweh, all right, Yahweh delivered Daniel, man. And he's going to do the same to us, man, going to deliver us out of this hell, out of this bondage, okay, that we are in, in Babylon the Great, man, because we are indeed in captivity and need deliverance. Daniel 6 and 22, my God had sent his angel and had shut the lion's mouths that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him, innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. So what? All right, Daniel explaining to the king that Yahweh, all right, sent his angels, all right, and they delivered Daniel, man. And Yahweh is gonna, Yahweh gonna do the same thing in this time, man. Gonna send those angels to cover and deliver his men, man, in these time, in these, in these last days. Okay. So man, just wanted to grab that. Um, go back to this first scripture that started it all. Well, not all, but go to this one. All right, we got to look at the generations of old, man. Okay, and use this as an example and, and comfort to us. Okay, well, let me go to the other one too. So, lock you. Okay, Romans 15 and 4 on closing out for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we, through patient, patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope all right so we got a hey, brothers you know and to the few out walk they're listening go back all right and and read those stories about our forefathers being delivered about your how about shimmy outside having mercy on our forefathers all right and, and the lord delivering them man to build us up to know that it's deliverance 
is going to happen and has happened before. Okay? So hopefully that was edifying. I want to give all honor, all praise, all glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right? A shalom to the hopeful elect.